What's going on Chevy truckers? If you are replacing your ignition coil, you know, which is right in front of your distributor on your, uh, this is a 1990 Chevy K1500 with a 5.7 liter, but this will be the same on tons of different Chevrolet cars and trucks. Basically if, here's the old one here, which I think is original because it looks pretty crappy. Uh, little did I know, Upon, you know, you've got a couple of brackets that hold it in place that fasten to the, uh, you know, the intake manifold. <clears throat> Just a couple of bolts to take that out. However, those brackets are riveted to the ignition coil itself because I had to drill them out. They were riveted in place with little plastic, uh, well, they were like light metal, they're probably aluminum, but they were painted black. That little thing right down there but yeah they are riveted on so you'll need to drill them out with a small drill bit um i don't know the exact size but you can figure it out and then you will rivet the same brackets onto the new ignition coil as you see right there so you i mean yeah i guess you could do a you know a bolt nut kind of situation Sure, that would work. But uh, I riveted it back in place, same as original. If it'll focus, there you go. Of course it won't. Anyway, rivet both sides basically. Both brackets will be riveted on. And that should do it. Then you can put her back in place. Anyway, that's that. Check out the. Uh, the good old 1990k1500 with the 5.7 liter 350 and uh you know i've got previous videos and all kinds of little fixes and updates and improvements on this truck so check it out we've got a nice beautiful day finally here in atlanta georgia where it's been raining for the past week or two months actually it seems like it hasn't stopped raining in a couple of months you can hear the birds chirping so good day to be outside working on stuff so check it out. All kinds of stuff. Here's the part number here for this particular model. D535. Make sure you get the right one because they have, you know, various connectors available. Notice the connectors. This will go this way, installed on the truck, basically. So, and be careful removing these little plugs here because if your truck is old like mine... Those little plastic connectors get brittle and they can break right off. So be careful when you're removing them. Otherwise, you'll have to replace those connectors. So that would be fun, I'm sure. Anyway, that's that. Old one. New one. Y'all have a great day. We'll see ya.